Okay, let's try this again. I keep getting phone calls. Um, got a little different video today. I went out to Dino Joe's and had some of my saws ran on the Dino. He is a great guy. Um, I highly recommend you guys go and check his channel out. Um, just absolute awesome dude. Um, I had a great time there today. The only downfall is I wish wished we'd had more time, but both our schedules were pretty busy. Um, I had a bunch of my 50cc saws ran. I ran both my 7310s. Right, I should say he ran them for me. I just stood and watched. And uh, I had my buddy Eric's 445 Poland running there and did my 395. Um, I'm going to show the graphs here in a second I, th this is you know i don't it, it's just just me I, you know i it's an honest run i didn't manipulate nothing or anything these are his his numbers um i'm not quite sure how to read his graphs but um this is the 50 cc ones they all say 501 but uh there's one 501 in there and then the rest were 49 10s but uh, it, it's the same. The, I didn't have him change his printout or whatever. But uh, the one I did for Grant, that saw is thumping. That, that made 5.72 horsepower and 3.2 torque. Um, th that is incredible. That is a very high roof. I normally don't build high roof saws, but uh, this was a special build for my friend. Um, that, that, that's the saw right there too. Single three quarter inch outlet too. It, uh, made that, that power. Um, but like my tips and tricks video, if you guys watch that or go back and look through it, um, that, that build will easily build, build you 5.5 .5 horse from what I'm seeing at, uh, um, stock they're not very impressive which they, they never are stock but uh i'm absolutely staggered with the the the, the output that uh them 50 cc's made them are really great saws they're fun to port and they're a hoot to cut with um which ones this is the 73 10s and this was quite interesting because i've got two totally different style builds well not totally different style i guess one one they're both running uh 102 exhaust roof which i run that number a lot um but uh one has molested side plates and the other one i did a little side plate work but i didn't pull them off i did it all through in the in the jug you know not where you burnt burnt through it or whatever i never i never pulled the side plates off the the saw i never added epoxy or any any of that stuff but other than that they they both have the identical muffler mod 102 on the exhaust same intake same squish um same same lower transfer work too um it's just the the upper transfer work is a little little different um the 7310 that has the modified side plates pulled 7.83 and 3.92 um this is the my second version or whatever where I did not molest the side plates and it actually made more power and from everybody that's played with both saws that's the same the same feedback I'm getting they, they, they all like my my second version better so I don't think I'm ever gonna pull side plates on them again unless I'm gonna try something different um, these I think he threw these in here to give an idea of what other other saws that have ran on there or whatever you know to get an idea of the, the power rating but yeah it's gonna make them steel guys happy there at uh and there's there's video footage of that one's brother this one don't have the side plates modified on it's the other one and the the, the saw right here i did a video with my 500i in that and that i we've done goof offs and cookie cutting and whatnot and the 7310 after it's ported just it, it's just faster than a 500 i i'm not saying 500 i is a bad saw i don't understand why so many people got upset and was mad about that video and it, it, you know it's just 
just what it is. I like my 500i as well, but I am totally happy with that build. That is a fun saw to cut with. Now, here's where things get pretty cool too. Um, this is uh, Poland 445, which is that old girl right there I did for my buddy Eric. I did do quite a bit of custom work, I guess you could say to that. There's a whole video of it you know, if you go back, that uh, Indiana Doug put together for me, and he did a great job on that, too. You guys should go check his channel out, too. Um, that thing is a powerhouse for, I think that's 71 cc's, and it, it put out 4.29 torque and 7.51, and then he put in some torque graphs of some other saws to, to compare it to, but that like I said in that one video, that that's the strongest pole and I've ever I've ever cut with it. That saw, it, it might not be the prettiest to look at, but man, that thing cuts, and it is a hoot and a half to cut with. I love it. Um, I, I think Eric's gonna love it too. Um, but yeah, that's that's this. These are the numbers that my saws produced. It's you know. Um, that's my 395. Um, that did that he did have a couple issues. We we're trying to get the chain to line up, and that saw was kind of a bugger to start. Um, but yeah, it, it put out good good numbers too. Um, he threw up a stock one that he's ran, kind of give me an idea what the what the difference is. But it's this thing tows a 36 through big wood like like it's butter um and this is at 102 as well on my exhaust roof so i run it run that 102 a lot i mean this does have a pop-up piston i did cut the base did a lot of lower work to it uh dual port muffler on it um i think what else i did to it still stock carburetor but um it's a fun saw to cut with i don't like the weight of it um I literally, if I got to drop a big one, throw a big bar on it, I'll do what I got to do. And as soon as a few inches of the bar is sticking out where I can drop down to like my 7310 or one of my 620s or something, that, that saw gets parked and I'll, I'll finish, you know, shoot a lot of times. I'll, I'll finish a big tree up with my little 50cc saw. It, things are incredible. But I thought I'd share my experiences uh with the first time ever having some saws dynoed. Um, I'm pretty pretty excited about the numbers. Um, like like I said, the 50 cc's did really well. I, I think them 73 10s come on pretty good too. They're a good saw. Um, but um, I'll try to get this put up today. But you guys let me know what you think. And I know it's a crappy video. Um, I i'm not a very good video maker but i just thought i'd put this out there I, I found it very very interesting and um i mean on my 50 cc saws anybody that's ever cut with them is has pretty much just blown away with how how hard they run and cut and i mean they're just an excellent firewood saw they're probably one of my most go-to saws and that build video that i i put out tips and tricks and and how I do the port work and shape the ports and whatnot, you know, I, I wouldn't put that out there if it's something that I'm not happy with. So I, I felt comfortable putting that out there um, for the guys that want to learn how to port their saws and and not go down that road where you got to do a bunch of them to to figure out the the magic numbers or whatever. Um, and you know, I pushed pushed the roof pretty high on this one um i really can't recommend that for a work saw build that that thing's pulling almost sixteen thousand rpm um i have no idea how long that's going to hold up at that kind of rpm the the thing i, I mean if, if that was to go into work saw and you, you got a little bit of a dull chain or not putting it in big wood i mean you just can't can't be doing long serious big cuts that kind of rpm I, I would think that would just shorten the life of that saw tremendously i mean these other ones pull real good at 14 14 2 I, you know sometimes you can see them you know 
14 8 or so you know just just depends um but uh yeah another good note too is i didn't from from that style exhaust to dual port to to back to the first style of where i had them reflectors or whatever with the screens behind it didn't really see much difference in power power wise it looks like a three quarter inch outlet is is just perfect for them 50 cc saws so but probably enough of me rambling on but yeah go check out dino joe's channel um i had i had a good time there and i mean the, go have your saws run on the dyno i mean if you really want to know it's kind of interesting I, I i tell you what there's a whole lot more that goes behind the scenes to get saws set up and prepped and ready to run on that dyno than than like what you just click and watch it uh that put a whole new perspective on it for me he, he puts a lot of work into his channel um you guys really should go check that out i had a blast over there um but yeah i guess like comment subscribe if you want um and let me know what you guys think or whatever and uh, maybe i can get some other saws and get with joe and get some of my other saws put on a dyno let me know what you guys want to see run on a dyno um you guys have a good one